Do you want to be inspired? Do you want to be a hero in your land? Good day everyone! So today we're going to talk about this inspirational and knowledgeable movie titled The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. The film is all about the boy who figured out how to have a water supply from the wind. One day, Willem Kamkwamba made an experiment. He uses dynamo from Mr. Kachigunda. He also used his father's bike and started to build a tall wind turbine that can produce water and electricity. In their land, they have poverty, corruption, and a heartless government. Due to poverty, William Kamkwamba cannot afford student fees to continue his study. The crippling poverty affects all of the family in Malawi. Government collect all of the harvest and sold it to the people. Some people rob their house because of hunger and lack of government support. Because of hunger and poverty that they're experiencing, William Kamkwamba built a wind turbine so that they can harvest and move forward from the poverty. At first, his father didn't believe it. He thought it was just a toy, but at the end of the day, he believed his own child and started to create what William planned to do with his father and other people at Malawi. With all of the hard work and believing themselves, they successfully create a wind turbine that helps a lot of people in Malawi. The Boy Harness the Wind is a great movie and it has a great story to tell which is impactful in persuading people, especially the youth, to stand up share their knowledge, and let their voices be heard. I will give three points to specify the relevance of the story to you and sustainable development goals. First, poverty. See from the beginning of the movie, the country of Malawi in southeastern Africa had experienced catastrophe and extreme poverty due to lack of assistance from the government. The people there were relying to trees and farming, however, scarce which forced them to lose their defense against flood by cutting down the trees, compromised instead to negotiation 2000 Kwacha offered by the businessman. <laughs> it's the line that provoked people to think that agreeing to cut down the trees and receive money was the only way to save their families. Second, government. We need a government prepared to support its people. After the event occurred, that diminished the source of food of the people in the village of Malawi, they were seeking for assistance from the government. Yet, the chief who spoke in front of the crowd during election, which intend to give a wake-up call to the people who have power to look at the current situation of their people, was turned down. They did nothing and the people there were helpless. Drought and hunger started. They were starving to death. Third, education. Many young people were not able to have education because they didn't have money to pay for their school fees. The fact that the country of Malawi has impoverished villages, many families can't afford education. For that reason, teachers have no futures. So do the school. See, the domino effect made by lack of money, dreams, and opportunities were gone. Economy was also failing. The aim of the sustainable development of the United Nations is to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity now and in the future generation. From this movie, the audience was able to gather insights on how to take actions and responsibilities to aid this kind of situation from all over the world. Also, the poverty and hunger, education, economic stability, and climate change fit into the 17th goal of UN Sustainable Development. It is a wake-up call to the world that not one only countries but many countries around Africa are experiencing the same situation from the movie. Our African brothers and sisters needs help. We have to show our deepest care and help them breathe fresh air by freeing them from underprivileged lives.
Now, how do we relate the theme of the story to the contemporary setting of the Philippines? Well, on the theme of the story, drought was also a problem in our country, and there are still areas in our country that are experiencing dehydration. The film story has a lot to relate to our very own kind country, such as culture, democracy, and agriculture. The film showed how the community of the farmers get mistreated by the government and somehow we can relate to that situation, especially some of our farmers who don't have enough privilege that leads to hunger and poverty. Our contemporary period has the river to freedom, which we can also connect in the film. And like in the film, many people become activists to demand changes in the government because we all embrace a goal for a better future. Lastly, education is necessary, even though not everyone can afford that, but it's still a right for children to receive one. That's why at the end of the film, people start helping and trusting William to build the windmill to escape from misery and hunger that has dominated their life for the past year, and to allow children to attend school instead of working on the farm. If you would ask me what practical and realistic course of action that I could propose to advocate or implement for us to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals or the SDGs, <coughs> well, first of all, to establish the pathway for humanity, I would launch a social media account that tells the latest information of the UN SDG to the different challenges that are happening right now and some open donation for books, daily necessities, and others. You might see it as a small help, although through this, I can reach out to people who lack knowledge about this data. Being that social media has a significant impact on each one of us. Second, we know that there are still lots of people who do not recycle and separate their grasses from biodegradable to non-biodegradable. With that, I could encourage them to reduce, reuse, recycle even though these three hours are familiar to all of us. We forget to apply them in our lives, so I could post some simple ways on how people could reuse their old stuff, how recycling works, and remind them that we could use any bags instead of utilizing plastics to buy food in the markets. In this way, we could <coughs> reduce plastic usage, scattered garbage, and some help to our ecosystem. We should always remember that any small changes from each of us could lead to a great outcome in making our world better and livable. As time passes by, acting now is way much better than doing it later so as long as there is still hope for improving the world, we should act now to live without regrets.